Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's Go Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Thank you for 21,000 subscribers. You guys are the best. Keep liking, commenting, sharing. Everything that you guys do never goes unnoticed. Hope you're doing alright and may you stay blessed. Um, support me by giving me stuff to react to. Just give me the name or the link down below and I'll be sure to check it out. Feel free to suggest anything. Just go wild with your suggestions. Find us on Facebook and Instagram as Fanny and Jesse. Head there, say hi, we'll say hi back. And check out our vlogging channel, Fanny and Jesse 2.0. Head there, subscribe, and enjoy the content that we put up, out. So today I'm going to be reacting to Muslim says, He who sees me has seen God. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. Hello. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Have you have, have you accepted Jesus Christ as the Son of the Living God? Go and say, I don't. Exactly. Okay. I don't. What I'm now saying, the whole mankind, we came from one man. As Allah says in the glorious Quran, Quran chapter 49 verse 13. Quran chapter 49 verse 13. God said, I have created you all from one man, Adam and his wife. I only divided you into nation and tribe for you just to know one another. But the most honorable person in the sight of God among you are those who have piety, those who have the fear of God. Listen, Christian, listen to this. In the Gospel of Matthew chapter 5, verse 17 to 19, Jesus said, Do not think I Jesus came to destroy the law or the prophet. Do not think I Jesus came to destroy the law or the prophet. I did not come to destroy the law, but to make sure the law comes through. Verily, verily, I say unto you, till the heaven and the heart pass, one jot or one title, will not fail from the commandments of God, until every commandment be obeyed, whoever among you, that bread the list of this commandment. Okay. Whoever among you that bread the list of this commandment and teach me to do so will be called the list in the kingdom of heaven. So, so, so whoever so, does, whoever does okay. this commandment and teach me to do so, we call it great. In okay, the so so I have a question for you. Then why do you disobey the commandment by not believing Jesus is the Son of God? Why do you reject the commandment to be born again and you're not? Why do you reject the teaching of Jesus Christ that said that I am the way, the truth, and the life? No man comes to the Father but by me. None of his words will pass. So why do you reject it? John 49. He now says, I am in the Father, Father in me. No, no, you, you missed the verse. I've been with you. you I'm coming, I'm coming. He was saying to them, when you have seen, you see the Father. Is that what he who has seen me has seen the Father. God's, no. yeah, God's will of John chapter 14 verse 9. When you have seen me, you see the Father. What was it? No. No. He was seen. He was seen. He said, as the Father sent me, so I speak. So, yeah, when, so you go to, when you go to John 14, 28, for you to know that they were not the same. John 14, 28, Jesus now says to them, I am going away. I will come back to you. He said, I'm going away because I'm going to the Father, for the Father is greater than high. So let, let me, Father okay. is good. Okay. He said, go on. Go on. Okay. 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 okay, okay, okay. Let me respond to you. That's fine. No, so, that's every, no, let me respond. No, because you're, you're saying a lot, and I need, no, to, I need, to, I need to jump in here. So, no, nobody's disputing. Nobody. Sir, sir, sir. Sir, are you listening or no? I'm listening. I'm listening. No, no, nobody's, nobody's. Hold on. Hold on, everybody. Nobody's disputing the difference between Jesus and the Father. But what you said points to the fact that Jesus is the Son of God. He said, he who has seen me has seen the Father. Was Muhammad able to say that? He who has seen me has seen Allah. In Quran chapter 4, Surah in the verse 80, whoever believes in Muhammad has indeed believed in God. No, but have, have, what, did Muhammad say anywhere? Not, no, no. Did Muhammad say anywhere, he who has seen me has seen Allah? Can you hear what I said to you? Jesus was always speaking in parables. This is why he cut it. Matthew chapter 13 verse 13. Okay, this question, is, another question. What I'm As, well, was, was Moses able to say, he who has seen me has seen God? When you look at Moses, when you look at Moses, when he came to the Jews, is even more powerful than Jesus himself. As was Moses able to say, I'm coming. he who has seen me has seen God? What I'm saying to you, you say, just answer the question. I'm coming, what I'm trying to bring out to you today, I want you to come to reality. You say the Bible you read it today. The Bible no, do don't, not, don't, don't switch I'm coming, topic. I want to say to you. I just want to ask you, did Moses say anywhere, he who has seen me has seen God? No, did Muhammad say anywhere, he who has seen me has seen God? 
What I'm saying, what I'm saying to you, you need to know, you need to know when Jesus speaks in parable. I can give you a quotation, many quotations. We are Jesus was calling. No, you're giving me a lot of good quotations. Where he was calling himself a son of man, a son of man. But you're not answering my question. Can you? All I want to know is: Is there any Imam Sheikh or even you that can say he who has seen you has seen God? You cannot see no one can see God in the Bible. How can no one can see God? So is the answer yes? Is the, is, is the answer yes or no? Exodus chapter 13, verse 20. No one can ever see God and live again. Okay. So, so has anybody able to say, Sheikh, Imam, or you, he who has seen you has seen God? Yeah, who have seen me have seen God. Can, can you say that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who have seen me have seen God? Who have seen me have seen God? Yeah, who have seen okay, so he, he's the first Muslim that I know that who has seen him has seen God. So you've lived a sinless life? You've lived sinless? What do you call him? Am I a sinless? Where you call him from? I'm coming. I'm coming. Where you say? Have you lived sinless? When sinless. I'm coming, I'm without coming. sin. I'm coming. I'm coming. Have you sinned? Uh, where the second? Where the second? You know what Jesus said about that? No. When you have committed a sin, you need to, to repent. I'm, I'm, I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. What I'm saying? I'm coming. I'm coming. What I'm saying to you? I just asked a question. I'm coming. I'm coming. Where the second? Where the second? There is none perfect. Even Jesus even said that in the gospel of Matthew chapter 19, verses 6 to 17, when they came to him, behold. Someone came to Jesus. He addressed him as a good teacher. What good teacher shall I do that on behalf of eternal life? Jesus said, why do you say I am good? Right, why do you right, say I am right. perfect? There is no good, good but one. one. That is God. Which is God. Yeah. He never, he, God he never said he had any sin. Yeah. He never said he has, has, has had any sin. Sorry? And that verse you quoted miscorrectly. He didn't say there's nobody not perfect or anything like that. He said Jesus. Is that? It's in no, no, the Bible. He said, he said, he said uh, no one is good but God. Yeah, that's right. One God. One God. One God. Because you were staring at him. That's why. One God. One God. You were staring at him. That's why. Was That's why he said that. What is that? No, no. He said, "No one, no one is good but God." He's not, yeah, yeah. But Jesus Himself said, "I am the good shepherd." In the Gospel of John. In the Gospel of John. In the Gospel of John. In the Gospel of John, chapter 12, verse 44. You're quoting a lot of verses. So I just, so back, no, 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 but, but answer this one quick question first, because you didn't answer. Have you sinned? Have you sinned? Yes or no? That's all I ask. Let me finish. Let me finish. Have you sinned? You, you're coming too long. Have you sinned? Just, just, just answer the question. Have you sinned? Yes or no? Everyone sins. I'm not asking for a verse. Hold on, hold on, hold on. First, hold on. I have sinned. I have sinned. Okay, just say. Get, get the mic. I'm coming. Uh, I, I have seen and Jesus said, Jesus said, when I've committed a sin, I need to repent. In the Gospel of Luke chapter 13, verse 3 and 5. So you sin. Jesus said, if you do not so repent, you Jesus said, if you not repent for your sins, sin. you are going to be perished. But Jesus never sinned. Hey, 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 Jesus never sinned. That's why he's the son of God. That's the difference. What is it that gives you assurance that you're going to heaven. That's all I want to know. Because of what Jesus said, that you keep. And the what did He say? He said, "I should keep the commandment. That's where my subject is. Commandment of God." And have you perfectly kept the commandments? That's what I've been doing. Okay, so you haven't sinned. Yeah, I can't say I haven't sinned. Jesus said, "When I've committed sin, I should repent." Okay, so here's what I'm telling you: you have a different concept of the holiness of God. The Bible says, "All have sinned and fall short of the glory of God, and the wages of sin is death." But the gift of God is eternal life. So, regardless of your repentance, if you don't have the blood to wash away your sins, you're not going to be in heaven. You're going to be in hell. Because now you're an unbeliever. Um, I'm trying to find what to say because it would have been a very, very good and productive and still is, you know, um, video. The people around made too much noise, you know. Yes, he was quoting a lot of things. The questions being asked were also good. But so where should you put yourself? We all know that Jesus is not God Jesus was as human as us so how can Jesus be sinless I'm just wondering if there's any perfect being or 
entity that exists out there we all are in agreement that that should be god alone so just because jesus was selected by god to be the way he was what about the people that were selected by god before jesus you know this is why i don't understand people that want to argue on the basis of um jesus is god or the son of god all of us are children of god that's what we have to know um and even if you believe that you should pray to jesus to get to god there's nothing wrong with that you know if that works for you that's fine but we were spending too much time trying to make the other person from a different religion wrong i was right we're trying to preach so much why can't we focus on the good things that unite us because i don't know i really really don't understand i personally would love to focus on things that unite us uh, practice practice them and live a joyful life let me know what you guys actually think let me know your thoughts down below if there's anything you want me to react to just give me the name or the link down below and i'll be sure to check it out make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video